Chris preparing for the players coming back to training. Uh, first of all, during lockdown, uh, the, the guys been looking after themselves. Yeah, I hope so. Obviously, this is our first contact with them in, in uh, three months or so. So, uh, to be fair to the boys, what we did sort of day one was we created a WhatsApp group just where we could talk about training. And me and Rich decided we'd leave them to their own devices for that period and not be on them too much or you know stay out of contact with them because we didn't know how long it was going to last really. So, uh, to be fair to them, they've been they've been really good. Look, they look great today when we first sort of eyeball them. So, I'm really proud of uh, what they've done and what they've achieved over this lockdown period. And physical activity is so much part of their in, in their identity as individuals as well and you can appreciate mentally as well as physically how, how tough this period has been for them oh yeah 100% like these these guys are all about competition being competitive you know training every day to be the best so I can only imagine what how they felt in lockdown when they didn't have that they've been starved of that so certainly now there's a bit of, there's a bit of joking around and banter around when we did a bit of a test earlier so uh, you know it was good to see them back and enjoying each other's company again definitely the big countdown clocks on to 2nd of August and return to, return to, to play in a short period of time. What sort of challenge does that set you? Yeah, it's a massive challenge really, you know, um, to have that sort of period out with not being uh, involved with each other and stuff. And every team's in the same boat really. So um, we're coming back to train on Monday. So we really get an idea of where the boys are at and sort of how that skill levels probably it diminished over that period but I, as I say every, every team is in the same boat so we're just looking forward to being back to work and being back training again and, and getting around being physical again so it'll be a good challenge but one we're looking forward to. Would it be a question of building up dur during games and using the games as a, a way of getting that, that match sharpness back again? Well obviously we were in a good good place before before we left really so it's about getting to that intensity level uh, as soon as possible I know, and as, as I mentioned earlier our guys have been keeping themselves relatively fit um, so yeah always you know you can do as much running as you want but you never really became fit until you start playing so I think that will be the big challenge for every team is to hit the ground running but obviously we've got three weeks to, to really have a go at it and, and get some work into the boys with the ball involved so it's, it's the same for everyone so we just got it we just got to get on with it I suppose and player wise we're, we're pretty much at a full strength squad as well going into going into this period that's a boost as well yeah absolutely and obviously there's ups and downs and good sides for the for the, uh, the period that we just had off in quarantine there but you know a lot of guys were able to get over a lot of injuries and a lot of sort of niggles that they had and you know could obviously uh, tell we had a couple of guys like Cruz Lehman who was out for a long period of time uh, but he's been in managed and he'll hit the ground running uh, he's been doing rehab for the last four weeks so he's in great physical shape and he should be fit to play round one so or the new round one as it is so uh, yeah no it's given us a good time to, to to get a lot of our boys little niggles, little, uh, little knocks over with, so we should have a full fit squad to, to go at it.